When my friend first attempted to explain Death Note to me, it went something along the lines of this. Hey, dude, have you seen Death Note? No, I haven't. Ew. Weird. It, you, you, you should totally watch it, man. Well, what's it about? Like, it's about where a boy finds, like, a death note and, like, starts killing people. Wait, what? Wait, why? Why would anybody ever watch that? Because it's, like, so good, man. Is that it? Yeah, that's basically it. Except that is not basically it. I know this because eventually I finally caved and watched the first episode. And the next episode. And the next day, I lost a lot of sleep. I'll, 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 I'll be honest. Why did I throw my? <laughs> the show was just so intriguing. Everything from the lead characters to the world which they inhabited to the funny one-liners that you'd never expect. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. To the pacing of the dramatic moments. To the genuinely shocking moments. To the psychology of the characters. I love it. It's still my favorite anime to this day, despite me not seeing very many animes in their entirety, and no, I'm not gonna watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so stop bugging me about it in my disc. From what I realized, there's three basic layers to the show that I will now explain, since the title of this video is Death Note, The Three Layers of Danger, so yes, this isn't clickbait, I just wanted to have a good setup to transition to the topic at hand, which I now realize I just killed with this explanation. Gosh darn it! The first layer is, a boy finds a death note and starts killing people. This boy is Light Yagami. A boy who finds a death note and starts killing people. This is what we call the surface layer, as if we're a stranger to light and know nothing about his motivations behind his actions. All we can gather is that he's a bad person because he's killing people. The second layer starts to reveal the why, which completely shifts everything about the show. A straight-A student known as Kira uses the death note to kill people who he deems to be evil. This is where the doors of morality open abruptly and continue to stay open until the final episode. With this layer, we get to see Light's unfiltered thoughts. There must be something wrong with me to even consider it. Motivations. I have to take Test it one more time. And plans. Using the death note, I'll change the world. Which is always interesting to spectate. We also get to see firsthand how one powerful book turns a student who's at the top of his class into a man who wants to rid the world of all evil for his definition of justice. Along with the notebook, there is another thing that comes to light. A Shinigami. This god of death is named Ryuk, and he's definitely the comedic one with the funny one-liners. I just flew out and checked a 100 meter radius around you, and there was no one there, so yeah, for the last time, I'm sure, okay? Ryuk is the one who spectates as Light goes about lowering crime rates, and is a neutral party who doesn't influence the world. Apples in the human world are worth the trip. What's the best way to describe these? Juicy. Just answer my question. <laughs> the third and final layer is, society spectates this and either supports him or tries to stop him. The ones that supported him praised him on the internet and wanted him to rid the world of all evil. The people of the world can already sense that there's something happening. On the other hand, the other side who wasn't supporting Kira were either afraid citizens or the investigative forces. These investigators were the police force that wanted to catch Kira, as well as their best shot to bringing Kira to an end. L. L is the police force's smartest investigator who fights in a battle of wits with Kira. In his mind, the goal is to get rid of him by imprisonment, which is a vast contrast to Light's mindset of ridding the world of all evil by killing. With these two mindsets in play, the games that they put into action against each other are entertaining, intriguing, and exciting to watch. The stakes are extremely high, especially between their conversations. So if one of them even slips up a microscopic bit, the other one can end the game in one move. It's over. It's been fun. It's also a metaphor since they literally play a game of tennis. Now, the most interesting part to this anime, and the factor that had me the most invested, was the psychology of it. The show really makes you think by throwing moral dilemmas in your face. Such as if it's right or wrong to kill someone if they're a bad person, which is the main theme throughout the show. Although Light is the main character in focus, this anime presents both sides of the dilemma in a fair way, which leaves it up to the viewer to decide which one is the right choice. With Light's mind as we established earlier, he uses the death note to end the lives of all who he deems to be evil. Yes, Ethan, we get it. With Book at his side, Light applies his skills of manipulation, both in writing the names, and in swaying each and every person he comes into contact with to better his situation. Partnered with this skill, also comes strategy of how to win against L, and progresses slowly over time, as if they're playing a game of chess where every single move is considered five times over. Clearly, if I read it the way Kira intended on my first attempt, I'd only look more suspicious. L's mind is one of a detective, attempting 
scheme to find the madman. With his mental energy matched to Kira, we get to spectate as Elle decodes all of the clues that Kira leaves. His skills in dissecting situations, as well as clear reasoning, make him an extremely viable asset for the case at hand. Kira needs a name and a face. Without those, he can't kill. So I suppose anyone who didn't watch the news can't be Kira. Besides the three layers, there are a few things that stuck out to me that are little in detail, but overall add more to the show. The intro, the interludes, the overall world building, and something that I learned about Light that genuinely made me say- no out loud. I loved the first intro to the show. Every single thing about it screams symbolism. The song is an absolute banger. Side note, it's actually on my exercise playlist. And the visuals are stunning. I hated the second intro because the music was terrible compared to the first one. I am all. The interlude between breaks show the rules of the Death Note. It's a nice aesthetic to the anime and gives us a better understanding how the Death Note works in different situations. In the first couple episodes, the world is fully established. Episode 1 focused on establishing Earth and the Shinigami realms as well as Light learning about the Death Note. Episode 2 focused on the repercussions of Light's actions, which made the show more interesting to see the other side of the coin. Lastly, Light Yagami's name. My name is Light Yagami. Light's written with the character for Moon, and Yagami with the characters for Night and God. This is significant because when the moon is out, at night, he does most of his killings and proclaims himself to be the god of this new world several times. Death Note is more than just an anime about a madman killing people. It's a social commentary on the concept of morality and justice, as well as how it's perceived by specific people. It's a story of how power can change a person. It's a crime show where the police are constantly changing their strategy as an attempt to catch Kira. When combined, it creates this unique show that has become one of my favorites. Let me ask you a question. If you had a death note, what would you do? Would you use it to your advantage? Would you use it to help other people? Would you not use it at all? There's so many options to choose from, but which choice is the right one? Big shout out to Logan James for becoming a $10 patron. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I, I, I can't thank you enough, honestly, and I really, really, really appreciate the support. Whenever stuff like this happens, it always truly motivates me to just keep creating, and I, I thank you. I really appreciate you.